and welcome back to Smart Bharat. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about our second topic called variables. So, imagine you have a diary. In your diary, you can see the names of all of your friends. Next to each name, you can also see the phone number of each friend. Whenever you want to call your friend, you first look through the entire diary and find their name. Then you look at the phone number that is next to their name and this is how you get to call them. But what happens if all of the names were to magically vanish one day? Would you be able to understand which phone number belongs to which friend? No, right? Similarly in Python, each piece of information that we need to store has a name. We can give information a name because of variables. If we don't know what a variable is called, we cannot access important information. Just like we cannot find the number of a friend without it being written next to their name in a phone book. So, have another example. Imagine you're in the kitchen trying to make something sweet. Let's imagine it's jalebi. Of course, you need sugar to sweeten your jalebi. And on the kitchen counter, you see a jar for the something white and powdery. But you fear that it is actually salt and not sugar. If we accidentally put salt, it would make a terrible jalebi. So, how do we know if it is actually a jar of sugar or salt? Well, we could put a paper on the jar that says what is inside of it. Variables in Python work kind of like this. Each variable has a name and you can use that name to find information that can help you later. For example, a variable called jar can have the value sugar. So let's see how we can create value variables in Python. So let's start. Okay, so let's take a look, right? So we started by creating a variable for our jar of sugar and we call this variable jar. This is an English word. Uh, then we type an equal sign and you have already come across this sign in your math classes. Whenever we create a variable, we need to put an equal sign after the name of the variable. After the equal sign, we need to put quotation marks and whatever goes inside of these quotation marks is the information that our variable will store. Uh, like I said in the last video, if you want to insert a quotation mark, you need to press the shift key and the quotation mark key at the same time. Now in this video, I am only showing you how to store words inside variables. In the next video, we will look at some other things that we can store inside of variables too. Now, right now, just doing this doesn't seem that useful. However, there are so many things that we can do with variables in Python, and I will be showing them to you all throughout this course. For now, let's look at a simple way that we can use variables. If you remember, we had learned how to use the print statement in Python to write information on the terminal. Uh, at the start, we were writing some statements like this. And let me just comment this out. So this is what we started out writing. But did you also know that we can print variables directly? So instead of writing print hello, let me delete this. And now let me write print jar. Well, what do you think this will print? Let's run it and see what happens. Oh, well, it prints the value that we had set to the jar variable from before. So now we know how to create variables and we also know how we can write what is stored inside of a variable on our terminal. Now it's time for a short question. What will be the output of the code you see? The correct answer is option A. The variable jar stores the value of salt. When we print the variable jar, it will show the value stored in the variable on the terminal, which is salt. Now make sure you keep in mind, whenever we want to use a variable, we directly write the name of the variable. We do not need to put quotation marks around it. Uh, so I'm going to trick you just a little bit. Let me delete this print statement. Okay, so let's do this. Take a look at this code and can you guess what is wrong with it? Well, let's, let's run it and see what happens. Oh, an error shows up. Okay, so what is all of this red stuff that you see on the terminal? Well, this is, for starters, this is a very normal thing for a programmer to experience or for a developer to experience. This is what we call an error. 
Sometimes we can make mistakes in our code that don't let it run the way that we expect it to. This is completely normal. And the most important thing to do when you get an error is to not get scared. Think about what might be causing it. Now, for this code, if you were able to figure out what was wrong, you did an excellent job. But if you are not, don't worry, allow me to explain. Here, you can see that we have not put the quotation mark around the name of the variable. I mean, we have put the quotation mark around the name of the variable, uh, but we have also put it around the value. This is confusing for the Python coding language and it does not allow your code to run like you expect. So always make sure that you create variables correctly. When you want to write the name of a variable, you do not put quotes around it. When you want to write the value that a variable stores, you must put quotes around it. Let's fix how we're writing this. Let me remove these quotes around the name of our variable, which is jar. And if we print this again, or if we run this again, we see sugar, which is what we expected. Sugar is the value that we store inside the jar variable. Uh, sugar is, is what we are storing inside jar variable. It's the information that we are storing inside this jar variable. And jar is just the name of this variable. And when we want to print it, we have to write print, open parentheses, jar, close parentheses, and we never put the name of any variable inside quotation marks. So even when we're printing it over here, we don't put a quotation mark before and after it. We simply write the name of the variable. Okay, so now it's time for a quick question. Which of the following ways is the correct way to create a variable called box with the value books? The correct answer is option C. Like I said, to create a variable, we use a variable name first. After that, we write an equal to sign. And then after that, we write the value to be assigned, the information that we want to store inside the variable. We put a quotation mark before and after the value, but we never put quotation marks next to the name of a variable. Okay, so the same rule that we've just learned applies to the print statement too, like I had said. When we want to print the value of another variable, we must type the name of the variable like this. Uh, and we do not want to put quotation marks around it like this. But let's say if I did put quotation marks around the name of the variable, what do you think this will print out? Well, let's run this and see. We see the word jar on the terminal. And this is because we put quotes around the variable name. We put quotation marks around the variable name. And as a result, we did not see what we expected to see on the terminal. That is sugar, which is the value, which is the information that we store inside this jar variable. So remember, when you want to print the value stored in a variable, type in the name of a variable. Whenever you want to use the print statement with some words, you put a quotation mark before and after the words. Now let's move on. Did you know that we can also change what we store in a variable? We have this variable called jar, right? And it has a value of sugar. One day, what if someone removes all of the sugar and replaces it with salt? Well, we can simply write the statement one more time. Let me remove this print statement for now. So right now we say jar is equal to sugar. And then right now, after that, we can say jar is equal to salt. So this time, instead of giving our jar variable the value of sugar, we give it the value of salt. Now, if we print this one more time, what do you think we will see? Well, let's run the code. We see the new value that we set for the jar variable. This is salt. And after all of this code, if we want to create a new variable, we can simply write another statement for it. Let's create a variable to store our name. So my name is Aryaman, so I will store that in a variable called name. All right, and we can print this out too. And let's run this. So now the first thing that we see in our terminal is salt. And the second thing we see is Aryaman, that is my name. The salt is actually coming from line number three when we print the new value of jar and this Aryaman is coming from line number six when we print the name variable, which is a new, completely different variable. So whenever we write code, we will always use multiple variables and they will come up at different parts in our code. 
This is very important in Python and it will allow you to build some very cool things later. Now, before we end this video, there is one thing that I need to tell you about. Whenever you name a variable, it cannot have any spaces. So let me delete all of this code now. And let's say you had a variable to store your favorite food. So let's try that. So here I've written the name of my variable and I'm basically just calling it my favorite food. And then I add the equal sign and then I write the word biryani. Let's assume that is my favorite food and I put a quotation mark before and after it. Now, if I had a variable like this, where I actually had many words inside the name of a variable, I cannot write it like this. Let's see what happens when I try and run this code. I get another error. Why is this? Well, if you had a variable like this to store, let's say your favorite food, and it had many words in its name, then you cannot write it like this. Instead, you have to separate each and every word in the name of your variable with an underscore. So let's try doing that. Okay. Um, now don't worry, you can still have spaces inside what you store in the variable. So for example, instead of biryani, let's say if I wanted to write pav bhaji. This is two words and it has a space, but because I've put it inside of quotes and because I'm storing it inside a variable, it's not the name of a variable, it's the information I'm storing inside a variable, I can still have spaces inside of it. So if we run this now, it, we won't see anything, of course, because we're not printing anything, but we won't see an error anymore. Now, uh, you might be wondering, how do I create this underscore? Well, to create an underscore from your keyboard, you have to press the shift key and the minus key together. If uh, we print this, then we will see Pau Bhaji on the terminal. So it works correctly. So just remember, whenever you write the name of a variable, if you ever have spaces inside the name of the variable, you have to separate each and every word with an underscore and not a space. Okay, one last question for today. Which of the following is the correct way to create a variable that will store the name of your friend, Ritesh Nair? The correct answer is option A. Like I said, whenever we have two words in the name of a variable, we separate them with an underscore. When we store words in a variable, we put quotation marks next to it. Also, we can always have spaces between what is stored in the variable, but we can never have spaces inside the name of a variable. Don't worry if you didn't understand everything today. It might seem like a lot at the start, However, as you watch more of these videos, all of these things will automatically become a lot clearer. Anyways, that's all for today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.